Hi, fourth grade. Um, I hope you can see me well. Um, welcome back to my class. Um, it's good to speak to you because I can't see you. Uh, but we're going to start an art project today. I told you last week that we will do a different art project um, every week. Um, your watches came out awesome. I love them. It was great design work. And today we will be doing something different. Um, I mentioned that uh, every week we will do a different art project. All of them will be really simple, so uh, you'll have plenty of time to do them and just hold on to them. And if some of you want to put them in the uh, Dropbox, feel free to do that. Uh, and we'll start with our class. Um, we're, we are going to um, design a, a very simple peacock. And so I already kind of drew it out real quick. Very simple. Um, and I did this with the marker. And as you can see, it's a teardrop uh, peacock. And you can see that the peacock's very simple. You just follow this line. Very easy. And you can practice. Hopefully you have some um, sloppy copy paper, scrap paper, that you can see to do this. And then once you have the sloppy copy paper, you'll be able to do your project fully um, on a good paper. And uh, this, what we will do here, is we will color these in all different shades and colors. Because you know when the peacock opens his wings, he has all these beautiful colors. So it's up to you how you'd like to do that. Um, if you want to work, I don't know how many people have different color papers in the house. You can use that and you can cut out different color papers or almost do it like a mosaic filled with different papers. But we'll try to keep it simple so it doesn't take you that long. Um, Use markers. If you do not have markers, use color pencils. So what I'll show you to do right now, hold on one minute, is I will take out some markers, and you may use color pencils if you like. And I will start by making maybe a pattern in this bird. So here I go. I'm going to make a little pattern in this bird, in this red. Decide on your colors so that it all looks really good. And I will do that red, and then maybe I will start on a different color red from there on to kind of blend my colors a little bit. And then I'll use maybe a deeper red I don't know how many different color markers you have, but you can start making some kind of pattern. And I'll do a pattern like this, and I'll bring it around here, and I'll just do this in here. And you know how to do patterns, because we've done so many patterns before. So I'll fill that in like this. And here's one pattern. If you notice, I'm going with the shape that this is in. So now I want to use a different color. So I will get a different color and I'll do a nice pattern. And what you can also do is you can um, draw it out first with a pencil. So here I'm using a kind of an orange now and I'm bringing that into that. I'm kind of blending it in. Do you see if you have markers you can kind of blend it in to that color and I have about three different shades I'm using warm colors you can use cool colors so I'm bringing that into that a little bit so it gives a little shading so you can see that so already I have a basic little color design um, here it has its little kind of crown and I would do that in the three colors, but I will just fill it in in the one color just so it doesn't take too long. And I've got its little crown on there. As far as um, the actual peacock, 
you can decide whatever color you'd like to make them. So um, once again, just work on the rough right now so you know what you're doing before you get to the full, full peacock. So I will do the full peacock and this will be the full peacocks because I'm just working in these warm colors as I told you. So here I go. I'm not going to fill the whole bird out because I don't want to take up too much time so that you can see what I'm doing. And I'm filling in the bird now. And that I, I, I keep him uh, because it's the male peacocks that have the beautiful feathers, not the females, the male peacocks. And I will continue to color him the one color. I kept everything very simple and basic. Um, once you're done with that, you can take your pencil and you can maybe like put some designs in there, something like that. If you notice, I just put some curvy shapes, and we've done a lot of this with shapes. And then, once again, I will take my colors, and here I have this shape on here. So I'll do this, I'll do this in this color. And you can use whatever colors you want, pinks. Um, I don't have a, a, a real cool pink right here. I ordered some more markers because mine um, got dried up. But here I did that, and then I'll and then I'll do the next one, which will be the orange, and I'll do. Oh, this is kind of the yellowy orange. So outline it first, you remember. Outline it first, color it in. And this can kind of go into that other color a little bit because it'll change that color. Do you see what it's doing? It's changing that color a little bit. And I'll start with my next color. And then I'll go into, what else do I have here? I think I have this dark red like that and then I'll do this color I'll outline it first I'll go around it and I'll fill in that color so now do you see the different designs and once this whole thing is done it'll look really beautiful and here I did this in a different shape so I did this like that and then maybe I want to do it again in here and I'll do that like that whoops okay and then I'll use another shade I'll use another color if you want to mix your colors go right ahead that's fine um, but try to pick colors